we're going to continue to look at the oil drilling platform here on the island and see if we can develop an oil drilling rig from scratch. So follow along as I explore and attempt to create one. Obviously there may be mistakes, I'm just going along as I do it, but I haven't done it before. So let's see what we end up with. So obviously we'll walk over to our bench structure. And what I want to do is bring this down all the way to the bottom because we're going to start from the bottom up rather than, you know, top down, which doesn't make any sense. So I want to make the starting point at least here. And then what I want to do is find, well, no need to find, we already know the center point, clear out some space around the center point so the center is very obvious and then we'll just delete that for now. So we know that our rod has to make it through this and let's just double check that. Yep, there we go. So the rod will go through that center point. And now let's load up our industry stuff. So we're going to ignore the um, distillation process for now with these furnaces and whatever. I just want to get us to a point where we can have a uh, rod digging into the ground. So that's the first step. And once and to do that, we need to have a swivel, we need to have some things. So let's lay out what we need. So we'll need this one, which is going to spin our uh, it's going to spin the rod that we place on it. We need the drill swivel, which is going to put fluid into the, uh, for it's, it's required for effective drilling. So pumping of supply of drilling slurry is required for effective drilling. So we need that. We don't need the well head. We already have that. That's this, the big yellow thing that we see on our site. So we already have one of those. I don't think we need any of these other things. So we'll take the rotary table. We need that. We obviously need a bunch of these because we don't know how deep our, uh, how deep the oil well is. So we need a bunch of these things. Like, I don't know, I, I, again, no idea having not done it before. Maybe we need 10, maybe we need three. I really don't know, but I'll err on the safe side. I'll probably put like 10 of them and then we'll find out. Pump jack. So we need this thing because this is what pulls the oil from the ground. And it also pulls, as we found out yesterday, it pulls out the slurry that ended up inside the oil well. So that's what the swivel is. And we need our drill clamp and our drill con or rod clamp and rod connector. The other stuff we don't need right now. Okay, so that's what it we need what it is right now. So let's take um, this object, which is the rotary table. So you see that there's a hole on the bottom, and we only have. RPS output and a torque connection. So that can go anywhere in this, but I guess it'll be easier for us if we just line it up and center it right on this point. And we'll worry about making it look all fancy and nice after, but let's uh, stick to being just effective for now. And then we'll when we confirm that it works, we'll make it look nice. Okay. That's what we need at the lowest level. And then we need RPS. We need torque here. So simplest thing would be just to put a motor, to be honest. And let's put a medium motor. Maybe that's too weak. Maybe we'll need a large motor, but let's stick with that for now. And we'll fire everything up once we've aligned it. So that is this one this guy is the swivel so swivel for transferring fluids through a drill rod through a drill rod the swivel connects to the end of a drill rod connects to the end of a drill rod and has fluid ports end of a drill i see okay 
I see this physically is attached to this. So I didn't realize that yesterday. I see. So the yellow, these are connectors. Mm hmm. So what we have here is clamp rod, rod clamped. So a swivel connects to the end of a drill rod and has fluid ports for drilling slurry and crude oil. Pumping a supply of this is if required. Okay. But that goes at the very top and presume so I don't think I don't understand is through what end, I guess. This end will likely attach to the orange. I guess orange to orange. And then that does nothing. Like that would just be Yeah, continuous or closed off on top or whatever. All right, that actually explains a little bit more now. Um, so, so far we understand we have a couple of items here. So now to help us out, let's actually build a, um, I guess our stairs are over there. So we'll call this the front. I don't know if that's what the arrow shows. I think it does. If we delete this. Yeah, the arrow is pointing to the front. So where the workshop is is the front so then in the back like if we stand we'll make our control center in that area so here we'll have a shaft that reaches up in this just one one place away from where the center of this thing is and in theory that's what this would oh it's two away so in that case we go two away and just straight up so there in theory now we release the rod and it goes right into the hole of this thing let's see if that even works oh i'm holding it now i don't want to hold it <laughs> Oh, there. Fantastic. And it's glitching through that, but that's okay. It's probably glitching because it wasn't straight. Now it's straight. So we've just placed the rod right into our wellhead. And that's all good. Obviously, the clamp on this thing's off. And um, we don't have any way to push this deeper in which is obviously what we have to do but as just a basic basic starting point we'll say that that is good and it doesn't tell us the well depth or drill depth which is interesting i don't know how we will get these and how we'll get this information if this thing's just kind of fixed here it's not using like we can't connect we can't connect a computer to this yellow thing so i don't know how that's gonna work because, I mean, oh, here we go. Oh, it's trying to do something. Okay, regardless. We'll make our way back here. Spawn up this structure. So, if we did this, first of all, it wouldn't work. We know because, I mean, the height, height will work. But what won't work is that we have to actually use this tool to join them together. So this is going to join our drill rods together. So we probably don't even want, uh, I don't know if we don't want this here or not. Maybe this is a good spot for it. Maybe it's perfect, but let's assume it's not because the only thing I don't like is that it's right up against it. I'd like to have a bit more stable control. So this showed us that this demonstrated that this type of application does work. But what I would almost want to do, let's first of all throw that thing back there. What I'd like to do is create kind of just a very simple selection procedure. All right. So this wall is obviously ridiculous. But what I'd like to do is have a wall full of these things that can be selected and dropped down the hole here 
so how we can do that is if this now I may or may not have the right idea folks so bear with me as I discover what we can possibly do so let's just say in theory if we had like a bunch of these ones here okay now how we'll get them in place is we have to have a mechanism that takes it now these ones can be released rod stored no it can't so we have to manually drop it in okay contains a single rod and spawn okay so that actually makes some sense and then we'll free up this area okay now this thing acts as clamp rod disconnect so it's for moving drill rods in a place it can connect them whereas this one is for moving drill rods in a place so they both have velocity they have clamp rod and rod clamped whereas this one has the same thing rod clamped disconnect connector is aligned slider velocity okay so in theory this bigger one can do what this one does and more so I think the, the coolest thing that we could possibly put here would be some kind of like gantry crane assembly that this thing can move both up and down and left and right. So it, in this direction, obviously. So it'll pick these things up, put them in place here, drop it down, lift it up, align itself to where you want to connect the rods and all that stuff. Um, let's try that. So to build that one, um, we'll need rail system, obviously. So I'm going to hit pause on the video while I just build a quick rail system with uh, the sliding with connectors. And I will be right back. So here we are. We've built a simple um, crane system. All it has is a track to move it left and right. And then we have a track to move it up and down. Now this may or may not work. And also this may or may not be too close to this thing. I don't know how that's gonna turn out, but let's just try what I have here. We don't need that either. All right, so let's try first with this one, which is call it the bigger and better one. And what I would do is place it on one of, on a thing here like this in the upper direction and we could even move it back so it's aligned with this as close as possible is that oh yeah see it lines so when we put it here that's going to be right over top of it so that may be perfect it looks a little funny and we'll have to work on that and then here in this direction maybe it works as well now let's power everything up with a nice battery. Again, once I find out how this all even comes together and works, I'll make it look nice. But until then, let's just stick to, to the basics. So we have our motor, we have these things, we have nothing else for electricity. And then we'll need a buttons. So let's put a push button. We'll have a configuration like this like the W A S D on a keyboard now this may be a terrible place to view what we're doing I feel like it would because we're gonna block ourselves so I'll move it maybe here and like I said if this all works out I'll make a nice control panel these things are actually gonna be modulated to be a little more or they'll be a little more automated but for now let's stick to this so left is the negative so down 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 right is obviously then up and same thing this one here is if i can 
go into this back here. I guess I can't because this is blocking us, but positive is up. So we can do up is the that one and down is that one. So we have like a big WASD and then we'll put these buttons here and we'll put an indicator as well. I feel like we're going to need all this in a second. I'm just going to paint my WASDs red and I'll paint the those ones blue. So my indicator light, I want it to turn on when my rod is the connector is aligned. Interesting. So I want to see what each one of these do. And then this one is going to be when the rod clamped. So let's just name that. Otherwise, we're going to forget rod clamped. And this one is aligned. And what is aligned exactly? Returns true when the connection point aligns over the end. I see that's when we're trying to actually like clamp them in together. Ah, okay. So, ac so in this case, our buttons. I want to. I want to change that up a little bit. So here's my indicator light. One is for that. One is for that. So the one that is for the connector aligned is going to be the one that's going to be connecting and disconnecting, and the one that's for the rod clamped is going to be the one for clamp rod. clamp rod and this is obviously the one that is for if it's clamped rod clamped and in this case it's the aligned one connect and disconnect clamped meaning it's attached to this thing whereas the other so clamped is like it's in its grasp versus aligned which means that it's you know aligned with uh, the ends. Clamped is like a magal, and this one where you have to connect and disconnect is connect and disconnect the ends of these things. So in that case, that's the clamp rod and that's rod clamped. And then this is connect, disconnect, connect, disconnect. And this one is that they're aligned connectors are aligned and connect connectors and connectors aligned okay and obviously all that needs electrical as well in theory you'll want like a catwalk to be able to walk up to your rods and um there's some type of platform that you could work off of we're just gonna do something like this so we can climb up. We could probably even jump, but let's be civilized here. That's fine. Or not, it's not. I do like to be fairly realistic and maybe too much of a perfectionist. But anyway, that's good. So now we can move this thing left and right. The only thing we can't do is what this does is slider velocity. So it moves and attach drill rod up or down the clamp. So for that, we're just gonna take a throttle and put that here with our positive in that direction. All right, and attach this to this thing. And we'll have to add a negative. And I have no idea how fast these will move. So we'll find out. We'll have to add electricity to that as well. And the last thing I saw here is this one. May as well just while we're already at it. So this is the rod um, up down. And I'd like to add another one for the spinning motion. I keep forgetting what this thing's called, but it's called a rotary table. So rotary table power. And same thing, I don't know, maybe one a negative, but... rotary table spin and we'll throw in the electrical power to that and we'll throw in well these are already good okay so now we have kind of the basics 
This thing we don't need because we've used them. This we've used. We don't have one for this. Maybe it's worthwhile to have like a second arm of this crane that only has that one, but maybe everything can be done with this. I have no idea. So now let's um, start this up. I'm just gonna save this here. We'll call it rig test and let's load it up and see what it looks like. Now this is also my first time, so like I said, bear with me, maybe it's a total flop, but let's see what happens. Mm. The one that we left is still in, in the path. Is it even clamped? No, it's not. So this one that we put into the thing didn't despawn with, I see. It didn't despawn with my creation, which is a problem now, but also it's a good test to show that this thing physically can't move past that. So right away, I have to go and redo that. We have to add another motion. So that means that even though we're aligned with the wellhead now, because that one was already inside of the hole, it now means that we can't go around it. So that would me mean that we have to add a motion for this thing or the whole thing. Like either, either everything, like all of this will move on its own. Maybe that's actually the easiest. Let's just do that. Probably don't have to, eh, maybe you want to go closer. So we'll have our sliding track. Or con connector. Nope, not that one, that's the wrong one. Um, what is it called? Ah, track is the right word, there we go. So we'll put this there, and then we'll take these three off and replace them with a linear compact track. All right, positive is towards it, negative is away from it. We'll join these all up. And now comes the uh, part where we have to detach all of this, including our platform and our stairs, which is fine, but just have to select everything. And all the way up. So that should be all our things and none of these are selected, which is good for me. All right. And that, oh, that thing is not selected, but we're gonna do that in a separate run. So what we know is we got to move it back one. No. Oh, well, we got to first separate it. That's kind of the key here. So the whole thing is now separated where we could paste it. Same place. I don't really care. It's just the fact that it's no longer on the red structure. Now it's going to be attached to the pink. There we go. So now we'd have functionality to move it back and forth as well as oh there we go these ones there and for that let's add another one of these is that how this thing works i forget now linear yeah slider speed so we have to put a speed versus these this guy works on a button whereas this works on a speed all right so let's just do that and we'll set its speeds to some type of positive or negative number. So this is, call it the slider main slider. You guys can roast my typing. I was trying to type too fast here. It's also been a long day at work and now it's Friday in the evening, so no apologies for me. Okay, that may work. Let's try it. And fingers crossed. I may have not given everything power, to be honest. I may have not given... Oh! Okay, it stopped because of something. So it hit into some kind of obstacle because I'm giving it speed right now and it's not going. Hmm. 
not quite sure what obstacle it hit. Let's try that again. That was weird. Just do a quick check here. So that it clears it. This isn't attached anywhere. So that blue, this blue one should freely move uh, with my button here. And it, all of these are in the same direction. The positives are all in the same direction. Hmm, weird. Maybe it's too heavy because you do have a weight restriction. I guess, why am I? even trying with this small thing. These these ones are nice and cute for small, small scale things, but this is in fact a big, heavy piece of equipment. So to try to use that small one is also silly. There, this should all work a little better. And we have to remove one more. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put these here. Now this all may be overkill. I'm not really looking into optimizing the structure and the mechanical parts. Maybe it doesn't need like three of these. Maybe it only needs one, most likely, but whatever. And now in this case, we don't need that thing, but now we have our buttons. So we'll have a yellow button to dic dictate whether it moves forward. So up, up, up. Up, 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 or down. Down, down, down. And the buttons need power. All right, take two. Nice, okay, so now it moves and it moves forward, okay. We've done it, so, and like I said, this would probably be in some kind of nice control panel where you have cameras and things instead of like what I'm trying to do here. Okay. And not to run around like a dummy. Let's push that forward and try to connect it into our, so move this. This buttons definitely need to be up here. This is annoying. No, that's moving up or down. That and that and that there like that will in theory push it in until it's connected it worked nice so now one of these should be reading true rod clamped no oh this has to not be a toggle button it's gonna be an actual um or not a push button a toggle so that's a mistake all right and let's move this up here so we could like watch we'll put a little control panel here so we could at least watch the motion or maybe well first let's fix this to be a toggle and we'll make it blue so this one is called clamp rod and we're gonna give it some power. And we're gonna put that one right here. There. This one also needs to have a clamp. Maybe it can be clamped to the same thing. In theory, yes, but the downside is if you have to remove a clamped one, you don't wanna disconnect that one potentially, but it is what it is. And we have our RPS, which is that, that's fine. Okay, that looks good. So the last thing I said, like, we'll add ladders. We're gonna make a nice little viewing platform for us to actually watch what's going on and not, um, so we don't have to constantly crouch. Remove all this stuff up here I'm just gonna leave it in, lined in the same direction 
and we'll make this platform a little bigger and we'll connect it obviously there okay so that platform now should control everything what were our yellows our yellows is to move the main one I see just gonna get them out of my way like move them a little higher there all right let's give that a shot okay let's pull this whole thing back let's move it to this side are we aligned close enough yep yeah, so we can push this thing forward and now it's almost in there it's in and if we clamp it's clamped cool so now in theory we have a rod up or down or a rotary spin table so it's clamped to both of these things so maybe we could now spin it there we go it's actually spinning everything and then this one is our rod up and down but it's not moving it disconnected on us so we obviously lost it okay these are too sensitive need them to be able to go to zero but whatever close enough and close enough okay if we unclamp it well we have to have it oh see i think that's the two so that one's clamped in the bottom no but they should be able to move separately like this rod up should pull this whole thing up i don't know why it's not moving like this should force that rod but either up or down I'm not quite sure what's happening here Let's do demonstration. I always like demonstrations. If, if I don't understand something, let's demonstrate. So we have this thing here and we'll position conveniently this above it, ready to just fall in, whatever, like that. And then once that falls in, we also don't need these ones. These were just created because of symmetry we need a button or that rather a slider velocity so we need a toggle and our toggle and we need a one of these this one's gonna clamp the rod and this one's gonna push it through so i just want to see what is going on here and we need electrical power to this stuff these ones I'm just going to connect to this because I'm going to delete them after. Okay. Just a little tidbit of information. The reason I always connect everything now to central point, like the battery, and from the battery everywhere else, is in case I want to delete, like, say, one of those blue things, it won't mess up all of the connections. Like, I won't be feeding the yellow one from the blue one. They're independent. And it helped so much for my ship renovations, like, to be able to uh, have that type of flexibility okay let's put this thing in there all right it's kind of dropped in let's turn on our clamp why are you not clamping okay there clamped so now it should move no. Clamped. Maybe we need a... Hmm. Because you'd think that this pushes it forward and back. Or that's what I would assume from what I read in the description. If we go back to here. For moving drill rods into place, it can connect drill rods together to lengthen them or separate them to shorten them. What does this do? This one, 
for moving drill rods into place. Okay, let's try the same thing instead now with this. So if we attach that and that and that returns true when it's attached. Like I don't really care. I just need it to actually attach it and then to slide it up or down. Does this need something else? Rod stored. Doesn't have any type of other, doesn't have electrical. Does it need like a power source or something? No, I heard it going. So it goes without electricity. All right. And let's find out what exactly we've done. Oh, this thing's still here because I left it. Okay, that's fine. It's not clamped yet. There, now it's clamped. So we're clamped and we're this. Why? Why is it not moving? Like, that, my assumption would be now it would start to just slide along this because it's pushing it. And this thing would like flop out or move in or out. Anyway, that may be a, ga a game glitch. Like, I have no idea. So weird. Obviously, it has to be clamped in order for that to work. But once I clamp it in... There we go. Huh. It does work. What was the reason here? It wasn't clamped right or started moving it too fast or what? Now it's broken again. Huh. I have to like jiggle it around. So that may be a glitch in the game. Also, I don't have the little display that tells me whether or not it's um, actually connected. So maybe it wasn't properly connected or whatever. We're gonna have a bunch of random dr rods just laying around, but, oh, sorry. So that demonstrated that this one will do it. What about the other one? What if we go back and try with the other one? In theory, they should both work on the exact same principle. So if I attach this one. Okay, attached. Now what? Oh. Why do I need to like touch it? Like I just had to come and like press on it. But anyways, so it does work. It works on the exact same principle. What if we have two going in the opposite direction? Now they're both in the same direction. What if we do opposite? I don't know. Nothing. And then if we do this. All right. Anyway, that demonstrated us, demonstrated to us what we need to know. Okay. We'll remove all this stuff. This, we don't need this anymore. We don't need any of this. Okay, cool. So we have to physically make our way over there and touch it, I guess, to make it move. But this system will work now. And we've kind of confirmed it. If we uh, can believe what we just saw with our own eyes. All right, let's climb up here. And for some reason that drill rod is gone, which actually is fine for me. I'm just gonna take one of my new ones that I have. So this is the ultimate test. We're gonna position this over here. We're gonna move this thing up all the way. That versus that. Oh, it like compresses it and pushes it back. So we actually can't even move that close. All right, and then we make our way down here. I don't wanna be the, the guy that's in charge of doing this, but regardless, we'll pick it up and put it down there. That seemed to be working. And then we can go back up here and clamp it. Now, if we've clamped it, beautiful. It's clamped. 
So now, this should work. But it may not be centered on the wellhead. No, it's not. It's off-center to that. So we actually have to move. Yeah, this system definitely needs cameras or sensors. Like this can even move up or down. Is it centered on this? Not yet. So we've got to move over a little more. I can imagine how complicated this will be underwater if you're trying to position a boat to like line up perfectly on it. Okay, well that's in there. And then we don't know about that upper one, but at least if it goes through the wellhead. Okay, move this down. Okay, stop this. Are we connected here? Clamp, ooh. Also that leaning forward motion is not to my liking. We definitely should put like that on the top as well so it's a little more supported. Now it's kind of flimsy. Okay, move this back a little, back a little more. Nope, now we're pulling it away. So we need it to align perfectly, which is kind of like what we're doing here. Okay, up, down, up. We may need ladders to t get up onto this. It says that the clamp, true, rod clamped, so it should be attached. Rod clamp, true. Connect, disconnect, rod clamp. I don't want to clamp it. No, I want to clamp it. I don't want to do the other one. Connect, the, connect, disconnect. I really don't care. This one is true. That's what matters. Now, it's not moving it, which is interesting enough. But we can disconnect that and move this up. So I guess how we attach now a second rod is we go and fetch it from here. And once we're aligned, like we are kind of, we can turn on our clamp. Now that, these should definitely be on two different circuits because now it's clamping it to that and that clamp is on as well. But regardless, let's try this. Ooh. And we lost it. And there's no getting it back. All right, let's move this one over and forward, down, sure, and up, okay. Do I have one that's nearby? I definitely need a hard hat for this type of work. Okay, let's put this one in there. Okay, okay, that seemed to have worked. So now we're connected onto that. What if we pulled the whole thing oh, back? Nope, it's definitely not clamping. I don't want it to fall back like that other one did that we lost. keeps locking itself back in here instead of going into this thing. Why? Hmm. That's the wrong one. So I needed to like clear that clamp it seems. Let's move this up forward and that clamp is on all right there we go okay that was what I wanted so you have to also be a skilled technician in this type of thing fantastic move that up 
move it across, move it forward. Now left, forward. How aligned are we? No, we're not. We've gotta go right. But now the trick is we actually have to position that thing where we wanna clamp them together. So we actually have to have it oh, move up, beautiful, and move this down, move this more down. Move this down. All right, down, down. Oh, we've hit it a little, move that back. More down. Yeah, you want automation or cameras for guiding, guiding you as you do this type of thing. So we have that one there. We have to actually feed this one through there and that's where they get clamped. Cause this part is just the other kind of, um, so what we know is let's move this. No, I don't want to move it up a little. We gotta move this down. So we actually have to put it right on the money. are too sensitive for what I'm trying to do here. And then I don't understand, maybe that's because I have this one on clamp, like it doesn't want to clamp to it, or maybe, oh, let's pull back instead and go down and then pull up and into it. All right, we also missed it. Nope. <laughs> How off are we? Oh, the two are intersecting. So we actually have to pull this up. That one's in a good spot. This has to move up, up. And then these things have to be aligned, which they're not. This thing's just dancing, my goodness. Okay, that would imply we have to do a tad higher and then bring it in and then what lower this eventually we need to put it into it I'm trying I'm trying oh my goodness no 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 it really doesn't want to go in all right So this one is what I need to get into here. I need some type of stairs and access. I think that's why these platforms have such... Oh. <laughs> have stairs running up the whole length of this. This may... if I release the clamp here this thing is gonna drop that's not ideal we want to keep the clamp on so we just want to center it and position it over top of that one so we've got to move it a little to this side all right come on join them join them join them Cause this is a pretty sick system I think like you'd now connect these two in theory and then you'd be able to penetrate deeper into the well and then at that point you can um they're so close they're so close why are they not aligning I 
don't want to move it up or down. I don't want to spin the table. I just want to connect them. So that one's going to fall. It's not lighting up. Let's go back to the drawing board and see what's going on. But I think we have a pretty figured out system here. So this one works such that connectors aligned returns true when the connection point aligns over the end of a pair of drill rods. I think I understand what what's happening here. It must be that we actually need this one as well to force um, to push one connect one rod up and then this one you push the bottom one and you kind of combine them in this chamber but you can't just have the single one I think you have to have both of them so now in theory we're gonna use this one on the top to have one of these pipes or rods so that means we'll have to attach a second so all that it has is a, i'm just going to stick to one just to not confuse things it needs a velocity and it needs a clamp and a clamp so it needs this these three so i'm going to actually position this here and make this like green so that's the one for attaching them and then I'm gonna make a second one of these put it above to designate that it's physically physically above it make that one pink okay nice colors and I don't want this I actually want to make that a separate a separate thing now I'm just gonna make it like beige or whatever. So that would now be the clamp on that. This is the clamp on this. This is the speed on this. And this is whether it's clamped or not into that one. And also the nice thing is when you have it all in one spot, you just hover over like that and you see if everything's connected or not. So that's the second reason. First reason is just if I delete or move any one of these, I don't mess up a circuit. And second one is you just see if everything's connected. Let's give that a shot. We lost our... Oh, we also may as well have put a flight of stairs around here, but whatever. Or ladders at least. Regardless, let's try to see if this works now. So we'll pull it back, we'll put it into place, push it forward, not that much forward, so I should like limit how the travel is and not put that last node because this doesn't help anyone if it just freaks out. Anyway, let's clamp the rod here, let's clamp that, well, there's no rod to clamp there. Well, let's go heal ourselves, that was silly. Also, these animals, my goodness. I hear... I hear you. Kind of annoying, but... I'll pet it. Yeah, sure. Oh, it still keeps going. Didn't help us at all. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. So the reason I went down was to heal myself. And to actually close off this hole. This hole's not helping us. I don't want to fall through anymore. And then, I guess this, we do need a hole at the center right here. That's fine. And then let's put ladders to be able to climb up the side of this thing. Like that. And like that even though it'll make it a, lot, a little harder to see. But for the problem of sight, what if we install a camera? 
we can't block the path with the camera so we have to kind of do something like this and camera make it facing down and this directions up hopefully that gives us an idea and then we'll put a nice big display here this looks so ugly guys I can't look at this but if it gets the job done that's gonna be the starting point and then we could see after what we want to do with it how do I make it start oh let's put a button attach that and or player sensor that's fine once it detects me nearby it'll start the camera that's fine okay we could watch what we're doing over there or there and we have ladders okay that should get us a little bit better of course i didn't put power to the camera There we go. <laughs> we still have that one falling off the back, but that's fine. Okay. This is much better. So let's position this thing with one of these and let's push it forward. Okay. So they're, they're pretty much right on top of another. Let's clamp this and then we can go down here and release it and we'll release it into the grasps there we go all right now back to our control tower it's attached fantastic let's pull it up further so let's clamp it to there yes and then let's unclamp it from there and let's see if we could pull it up Presumably up is where we want to go. How low is it now? Yeah, see we... Uh, where is it? Oh, it's up high enough already. It's up to there. Okay, so we could stop that then. We did it. Stop this. No. This is a problem. You definitely need to have a better... Okay, zero. Perfect, let's pull this back, back, and then let's center ourselves with the next one. Now, I guess the camera, we need a camera on the bottom as well, because now our camera is useless. We can't see if we're actually in front of the next one. I think we are. Is that it? Oh, we can't see. Okay, sorry. This black is the actual rod that we have attached, so we're stuck with it. Okay, now let's clamp this, get underneath here, and try to attach the second one in. Oh, I'm like holding it. I'm running around with it. Okay. Okay. I think I see what has to be done. We actually have to raise this up till we can clear it. Otherwise, it's going to be blocked by the other rod. And we have to now move it over to the next stall. Let's move it over. Yeah, that should be the third one. One, two, three. Close enough. Let's get all, all the way underneath in this hole and try to lift it up and place it inside that. Hmm. We have this thing to try to connect it, but it's not wanting to connect. 
why is that oh i see again my own problem or kind of thing i didn't think through we have to lower this one down we have to lower everything down and now we're blocked of course by this all right if we put it back in its place it'll be good oh or we did it what i said what i was did we attach them both we did okay what i was about to say and what i think is was happening is it was glitching but because you had both of them kind of weirdly like it didn't know what oh and these are aligned so it was glitching out because you had both of them so in theory you'd need two separate arms like this or first instead of shoving that one up i'd be better off putting it down into the ground as deep as it can go having it attached to the bottom one and then using the top one to grab yes all right now we can disconnect this one and then using the bottom one once it's positioned over our wellhead so we need multiple cameras positioned over our wellhead well that's gonna be fun to try to get more left more left and then down is it going in oh no it's not this thing's sliding we have to go more left <laughs> okay what about now nope it looks like we've overshot it oh or even just more forward that's fairly close to what we want oh let's clamp that in and then let's try to drop it all yes and now that this one's attached let's go down we did it okay we are putting this into the ground fantastic and it stopped so it clamped to something and stopped I think I know what that is actually. It may have gone as deep as it could into the ground. And now we'd actually have to start the drilling process to get it any deeper than this. Whereas if we try to pull it up, will it go up? So I don't really understand how that works just yet, but it seems, so we've clamped it, we've put it in place. So this is the, the steps you'd need for the first bit of the work obviously now that we've had we have the rod we have it in here you have to figure out how to use these things so we have now both of these figure out how to use both of these things to both pump out that and add the slurry and you also need the slurry mix thing i guess the slurry filter so let's see how that works in a bit Stick around for part two where we try to figure out how to use these three items and to actually get to the well, like to the oil reserve and pump it out. But for now, we figured out a system to attach the rods. It's not the best, it's a little clunky, but it seems to, to work. So you can follow those same steps to try to figure out how to make it work for you. And uh, we'll see how to make the second part of it work when we return. So stay tuned for more.